if worst case scenario happens and I can still break even or make a little bit of money, I'll, per, I'll, I'll pursue that deal further. If worst case scenario happens and I can't break even or I'm going to lose money, then I don't do that deal. And, you know, we've done, I don't know, close to 400 hard money loans in the last 10 years for, for ourselves and other investors. I haven't lost money on a single one. Someone else could have probably done 1200 hard money loans with the amount of leads that I, that I only did 400 with, but I never lost on a single one. And I think it was because I was so, I was so afraid to lose because I had lost everything, you know? So I, I couldn't, I couldn't do those deals. And that was how when, when this assisted living thing came to the table, it was scary. Um, you know, it was, it was $4 million purchase and I, it, it had the potential, you know, I, I mean, the, the payroll and overhead expenses alone are $300,000 a month. So, you know, it doesn't take too many months of, of, of zero, you know, of, you lose 300 yeah, a month for, for a couple of months and I don't care how much money you got. I, I played that game one time before, you know, um, so I had to look at this and say, what is worst case scenario? And if worst case scenario happened, could I at least break even and get out of it? Well, worst case scenario in that world, since we're pretty much government pay, you know, we got 94 beds, probably 92 of them are, are government pay, not private pay. So worst case scenario to me would be the government shuts down. I, I don't know, it's happened before. What happens if they shut down for six months? What happens, you know, we're however many trillion dollars the wrong way. I mean, there's a lot of unrest and uncertainty around our government right now. What happens if, if we go four months without income? The expenses don't go away, but the income could. And you know, what would happen if we, had to, if we had to liquidate? In this particular scenario, the real estate, it's 10 houses, it's community-based residential facility, so it's 10 houses, 94 total beds, and the value of the real estate by itself was right at 4.1, 4, 4, right at 4 million bucks, a little over $4 million. And that was the purchase price for the whole thing. So when I look at worst case scenario, worst case scenario is to me, we no longer collect rents. I got to get everybody out and I got to fire sale those houses. So, you know, in, in that case, um, I, I could fire sale them for three, eight or three, nine, whatever, and pretty much be out of that whole big transaction worst case scenario and not lose anything or lose, lose very, very little. And the upside was enormous. I mean, it's, it's valued at between a hundred and $120,000 a bed. So around nine to $10 million is the value of it. We bought it for four. So the upside, you know, the real upside from the day we purchased it is enormous. And the downside risk is, is almost nothing. And so that was enough for me to say, we gotta, yeah. let's figure this out. You know?